do. I want to get this on. This because I said I wasn't going to do any more card tricks on it. And then I'm going to go to my favorite one. This one's kind of cool. It's only done with three cards. Now this is an old card trick that I've done. I think I did it for you before. I did it for him. You haven't seen it, but I know John, uh, Jim's seen it. I don't know if I've done it for you, Robert, but I'm going to. Yeah, I'm still waiting for you to get up. I will do that later. I will do that for you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to do these three cards. Now these three cards. Have you ever heard of the three card monty? And what the three card monty is? If you've ever been to New York or in uh, Europe or whatever, what it is is they have three cards. And the three cards, what they have, it's usually an ace, a king, and a queen. And you have to keep your eye on the ace. Or sometimes they have uh, two black cards and a red one. You have to keep your eye on the red card. That one's the English version, one's the New York version. Well, this is called the carnival version. And in the carnival version, what you have is you have the same three cards up in here like this. But this is just a story that happened to you. And this is a true story. You can't believe me, but I am a pathological liar. No. I love that one. But here's the way the story went. I went to the fair one day, and a guy had three cards. He said, these three cards all have diamonds on them. He said, the first one had a red diamond on it. There was something there just like that. The second one had a red diamond on it. And the third one had a blue diamond. He said, every time I tell you where the blue diamond is, I'll give you a dollar. But every time you're wrong, you owe me a dollar. He said, well, I don't know if I want to do that. He goes, watch. He goes, where's the blue diamond? He said, it's on the top. He said, see how simple it is? It's very easy. Well, OK, it's no problem. I thought I could catch him. Well, he took the cards. He took the cards. He mixed them up. He went like this. He went, one, two, three. Something there just like that. Now, I thought he did something funny. He said, where's the blue diamond? He said, it's on the bottom. He said, nope, you're wrong. That's one dollar you owe me. I said, wait a second. If the blue diamond's not on the bottom, then it's got to be on the top. He said, nope, that's another dollar you owe me. I said, wait a second. If the blue diamond's not on the top of the bottom, it's got to be in the middle. He said, nope, that's one more dollar you owe me. I said, wait a second. You don't even have a blue diamond in there. He said, nope, that's one more dollar you owe me. I said, wait a second, if the blue diamond's on the bottom, then there's no way it can be on the top. He said, nope, that's another dollar you owe me. I said, wait a second, if the blue diamond's on the top of the bottom, there's no way it can be in the middle. He said, nope, that's another dollar you owe me. I said, hold on a second, you're using more than three cards. He went, one, two, three. He said, that's seven dollars you owe me. I said, I quit, I want to do this. He went, look, I'll give me a chance to get your money back up or nothing. He said, look, you know that one's the red diamond right there, right? And you know that one's the blue diamond. If you can tell me what that card is right there, give me money back to help or not. Well, it was very simple. I said, you red diamond. He said, nope, you owe me $14. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh.